today I show you the Parkside rechargeable battery, the 20 volts, 4 amp hours. Before I had two batteries, the two amp hours, the smaller ones, but I bought this year, they made a really good offer. I bought them only for 22 euro, this uh, whole battery. And I thought if I don't use the battery itself, I could use the cells inside for some projects, or I could use this as a power bank. A 22, 22 euro power bank, which is 20 volts times four, is, this is going to be like 80, 80 watts power bank, 80 watts hour power bank. So that's a pretty good, pretty good size. And uh, I have an adapter from Lidl where it converts this battery into a power bank. And it has three year warranty, but I will probably open it up and see what's inside. So I don't count much on the warranty. And the status display is this uh, here. Uh, probably you've seen already the Parkside batteries and this X20 volts team. They have a lot of tools, little, little sells these batteries and a lot of tools for them. And before it was actually a problem that you could find the tools, but they could never have the battery. Very rarely they brought the batteries and now they always have them there. <laughs> Maybe not always, but uh, much more often than before. And this is the lithium ion technology. So the batteries inside are the 18650 batteries, which can be used for a lot of projects. I was thinking even to use maybe not this battery, but one of the two unpowered batteries to use to rebuild the battery of a laptop. I have a laptop, an old laptop that has this, uh, the old style batteries. And you can use these the cells inside of this battery for many things, and you can actually use this for a more powerful tool. The 20 volts, 4 amp hours, it's more powerful for the tools that need more uh, torque, more uh, strength. The 2 amp hours, they are much lighter, basically half the weight, almost half the weight. There are half the cells on the small one, and... Um, the small, the two amp hour batteries are almost half the weight because they only have one row of batteries, 18650 cells, but the big one here has two rows. This battery here is the Parsa rechargeable battery, 20 volts, 4 amp hours, PUP 20B3. And this is the B3 because it has this, there is a new model, there is the old model of this battery and the new one which has cell balancing. I'm not exactly sure how they do this, what they added extra, but what's on the box? I forgot to bring the tool with me. For for this battery, I actually made 3D printed, 3D printed adapters. I have them in this, together with the terminals, so I could I could make some adapters for this. So I have one here actually that could be used already. This is this is a model, this is a 3D printed design. And they take a bit of time to make, but there are two models. I like this one more, it's more convenient to use. And it will fit perfectly in the battery, but I didn't use this one yet. I have another one. I have another one of those adapters that's already on the power tool. Another Dexter from Leroy Merlin, converted to use with Parkside. That was pretty nice to make. So this is rechargeable battery, PUP 20 B3 or PUP 20 B3, powerful lithium ion batteries, three stage status display is just three three LED lights cell balancing lithium ion 20 volts capacity 4 amp hours compatible with all those devices in that series in the x20 x20 v team x20 volts team barcode and i always like to look at these boxes but uh, these batteries, when I see them, I look at them, I try a portal. When, when I see it, I didn't have it. It's, uh, it's not here with me, the tool, the 
electric screwdriver. The electric drill is not here with me with the adapter to show you, but it's, it's basically one of these things on the, the uh, screwdriver, on the drill, and then the battery connects to it. So, okay, let's see. It's really heavy. The, the battery is pretty heavy. That's why I actually like the... The battery is pretty heavy. That's why I actually like the, the smaller ones. That's the seal. So... I always bought the smaller ones because of the weight. Okay, so... Pretty simple, not much to worry about. There should be a paper, okay. It's a serious leaflet here. This is very bulky, but rubber also. There is rubber on the bottom on it, so that's nice. It will sit where you put it, especially with the tool, because the tool goes on top of it and you want it to be very firm in place. This is the manual information about the battery. Charging. Whenever you receive a lithium battery in a device, that device will have a really long paper with disclaimers. But the technical data here is important. So that's the number of cells, 10 cells, because it's two rows five row five and then another five below so it's five batteries 10 uh, 16 what is it 10 10 6 it doesn't say which one it is 16 850 or 6 18 650 can't remember the name i forgot i just said it earlier 18650, I think that's uh, it's the dimensions of the battery, they're very popular, and you have 10 of those for 22 euro 10. It's like 2 euro, 2.2 euro for one one of these 18650 or 16850. <laughs> um, yeah, 4 amp hours energy, 40 watt hour. 40, you get the energy, the watt hour, the energy is 40, the energy. The power is 80 watt hour. You get the energy or the power by multiplying the voltage with the amperage. That's all, nothing special. Maximum temperature 50 degrees and for operation. Yeah, maximum operating temperature 50 degrees and charging 4 to 50, 4 to 40. Operation minus 20 to plus 50 degrees Celsius. Storage 0 to 45, so shouldn't freeze this. Shouldn't keep it outside in the freezing temperature. And you have these options about the chargers, which chargers, are, I think all of the chargers they have are compatible, just some of them are faster, some are slower. It's not a problem. And now it's all the safety information. This is going to be a lot of warnings and disclaimers, clean, guarantee. I'm sure they, they have some limited limitations for the warranty, like if you look at it too much, it loses the warranty. Service center for Great Britain and Cyprus also, so yeah, here, but I guess for Germany, it depends where they sell it, they will give you another paper, another leaflet, and the spare parts, the battery, the part number, and the charger part number. So this is for a few countries, not all the countries, it I guess it depends where where you buy it from. The PDF, this is just a generic link, but okay. And that's the battery here. They are very simple, how they are made, but they really work well. And on the on the side here, this the top is hard plastic. 
the bottom this black is soft plastic and the red is hard plastic again so the black bottom plastic is actually rubberized something and the screws are hex hex screws if you want to open it you need a hex key i was thinking to open it but i don't know maybe no i will make a video in the future to open this and maybe take the set cells out two rows of five cells rebuild the laptop battery with it if i maybe i will use one of the two amp hour batteries and use this one keep this one for more power because this will really it's a double power than the other ones and here is the label pop 20 b3 the rechargeable battery 20 volts 4 amp hours 80 watt hours uh, these are the batteries inside 5 inr 19 66 2 i don't know this is some kind of code maybe for date but 5 inr 19 this is uh, going to be the cells inside i believe write in the comment section below if you think it's different manufactured in 2022 in october 2022 this is lithium ion be careful with it don't keep it in the heat in a car 50 degrees actually in a hot car in the summer it can easily get to 50 degrees so be careful with these batteries don't leave them in the car and don't park the car in the sun and leave them at the back of the car because it's not a good idea and then you get this test testing thing and when it comes it's it's charged but not fully charged so you might have to charge it but actually there is a green one they should all be lit when you press the button there when you insert the tools or adapters i have an adapter for a light it's from Lidl from parkside the same like original kind of and uh, it has a light and the usb ports i have videos with everything all those even how i built these usb <laughs> i have even have videos about building the tool like using these adapters to put on your own tools so you can use parkside batteries and it's pretty tight but it will fit so this is the 4 amp hour battery and you could even keep it like this if you have adapters like this it's not a bad idea to keep one empty adapter like that to keep the terminals from uh, making contact with anything because these terminals here this battery terminals the, the these battery terminals the plus and minus they're always on always ready to ready to go so if you put something if some you have some tools laying around in a box this better be keep it separate don't keep it together with other metal parts So this is a bit tight but as it's used it will you can see it's 3d printed because it has all these tiny layers on it everything whenever something is 3d printed it will have all these little layers many many layers on them because this is how they're built layer by layer the same with this one this is a bit less bulky it's not as strong as this other one in the video with these adapters i have links for the original stl files for these adapters and when i modified them this one was a bit cracked here so i didn't really use it but i had to modify the stl files and here i put only one terminal see it goes in pretty well but this one because it has a terminal i wouldn't use this as a storage but I could use this one right here so it could be sitting like this safe or I could just keep it in a place where it's not together with other metal parts metal tools this battery is I didn't really need to buy it but I thought because the price was much better than the usual price, usually it's 30 euro and this was 22 euro. 
I thought, why not buy one? Maybe I need uh, more power at some point with the drill. Or if I buy some other tool that needs more power, some of the tools, they will only work with the 4 amp power batteries. I mean, uh, when you have the more powerful battery, you also get more uh, strength from the tool. So this is a reason why you might want to have the 4 amp power battery instead of 2 amp power. And you can even... Uh, I think they have bigger ones, 8 amp hours, because you can, if you put five, 5 cells like this, so it's 2 amp hours, then 4 amp hours, you can put 6, put 3 rows of cells, you can have 6, but then it's going to be very heavy. This is also the disadvantage of this one, it's pretty heavy, so it's really good to have it as a power bank for, if I, for making videos, if I'm outside, when I'm outside and I want to make videos and I don't want to use the regular power bank for the camera, this will work perfectly with the adapter. I can use this as a really powerful 80 watt hour power bank. And when needed, I can use this on the tool. When I need it, I can use this on the drill I have, or if I buy a different tool from the park side from Lidl, they're pretty good actually for a hobby use, not for professional, because they don't last long if you use them professionally. But for hobby hobby use, it's uh, good prices and uh, they last long enough. This also it it could be used as a, a light in case of uh, in case you lose power at home. If there are no lights, you can use this to power a small light this uh, adapter that has the power bank it also has a small light and with this one it will last a long time and in case of a, a power in case of a power outage this battery together with the power bank module it will be really keeping your phone charged up and other devices and the 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 capacity being four amp hours it's going to be much taking much longer to drain this one to charge your phone and other things. Most probably I will use this on the car as a work light. Because when I have this next to the car with the light, it's going to be pretty nice. Thanks for watching. This is going to be, I have a work light, but the battery on that one, it's always, always empty, always finished. And this one, there is no way. This one is gonna be, it's gonna last a long time, I'm sure. That's it. I don't have the tool with me, but if you want to see those videos, how I made the adapter and I put it on the tool and use the batteries, you can see it's with the two amp hour batteries, but they're just thinner. The two amp hour is like this, and this one has an extra layer. So it's almost double the size, the volume for that extra row of batteries. Thanks for watching.